Carl and Brendan here from Games, Brains and Headbanging Life, GVHBL.com for short and it's reaction time. Uh, we're taking a look at Finsterwacht by Saltatio Mortis uh, featuring Blind Guardian. So that should get your attention because it certainly gets mine. But I don't know piss all about this. Brendan, please take it away. Yeah, I don't know much more than that either, to be honest with you. I come, <laughs> I come across the song uh, purely because we went to see Blind Guardian recently. Mm. And as you sometimes do after coming out of the, a really good show, I spent the next couple of days after that listening to Blind Guardian uh, pretty much predominantly. And then while I was searching for a song from Blind Guardian, that came up in the list and I was like, what the hell is this? And then mm. it came out uh, uh, a month or two ago and I listened to it and I really, really enjoyed it. And like I said, it's a very, very long video because it's it's meant to be cinematic. You know, uh, it um, the song itself when you listen to it on Spotify or Apple Music or whatever, I think it's more like seven, seven and a half minutes long. So it's a bit more compact and and, and to the point because it doesn't have the cinematic stuff on the other side of it. But look, it's, of course it is, Blind Guardian. It's a German band singing in German with Blind Guardian uh, singing in German. Uh, it's power metal, folk, battles, orcs, all that sort of stuff. It's what you'd expect. Nerd, nerd uh, shit, it's really nerd fucking good. shit. Yeah. Okay. Really, really I, I, I wanna I'm gonna I'm gonna pick your brain, see what yeah, how well you know. So it says featuring Blind Guardian. And that's mm -hmm. interesting. The whole band? I don't know. I because I mean there's obviously a lot nobody of nobody say featuring Hunt say if it's vocal, yeah. it's Hansi Kirch of Blind Guardian. There's a lot of, obviously there's a lot of instrumentation instrumentation going on, but when I hear a guitar, I honestly couldn't tell you whether that's being played by a member of Blind Guardian or a member of Sol Tastio Mortis. Yeah, there's uh, so much detail in the comments that it doesn't quite make uh, sorry in the uh, description as well that doesn't quite make perfect clear but there is something right i'm gonna it's totally random not related to the song but fucking a this band want to react to our videos no problem just send us the mail and get your video whitelisted today outstanding outstanding well. behavior <laughs> Because, of course, like the whole like issue with reactions isn't so much that you get copyright blocked. and You rarely, rarely get copyright blocked, but you will always not always get claimed. Now, obviously, considering most of the time you're actually playing the song fully and stuff like that, I don't ever really see an issue with it and so on. But it is yeah. nice to sort of see them go and look, well, if you're doing a reaction to it, we're going to you can you can get the revenue if you want. You know, not that we fucking earn any revenue from YouTube. A couple <laughs> of pen, pennies here and there. Um, yeah. But hell, why not? Um, yeah, there's nothing wrong with an 11 minute video because, hey, we're reacting to the video as much as the song as anything else. So let's do this cinematic piece in three, two, one, go. I mean, it gives the impression it's Blind Guardian, the band. Yeah, it does. lastet schwer auf dem Land. Die drohenden Gipfel der Berge ragen unheilverkündend in den Himmel. Nach all den Jahren ist es wieder da, dieses unheimliche Flüstern in der Nacht. Was verbirgt sich dort in den finstern Wäldern? Ein Sturm zieht auf. Es wird kalt am Finsterkamm. Doch es gibt Hoffnung. Denn inmitten all dieser Düsternis stehen die Hüter der Wache hoch oben auf den Türmen, Tag für Tag, Nacht für Nacht, bereit, unsere Familien und unser Land mit ihrem Leben zu verteidigen. Wenn sie ihre Feuer entzünden, dann gnade uns die Göttin. 
Es sind die Feuer der Angst, die dort brennen. Möge der Heldenmut der Wache heller leuchten als das Licht der Flammen. Denn sie sind unsere letzte Bastion vor dem, was dort im Schatten auf uns lauert. Und unsere einzige Hoffnung dort auf der Finsterwacht. Yeah, I think he'd had it up
thousands of them. By Lord of the Rings, isn't it? Oh, yes. It's like a minute left. All right, yeah, okay, credits, which makes sense. Yeah, because it's like a fucking movie, ain't it? Yes. All right, all right. We're to start with that thing. Uh, I suppose we'll start with the actual music. I guess we'll start with the song. Um, yeah, it's epic as fuck. I mean, it's power metal. I mean, weirdly, right? Classified on the label, they call records. Well, uh, uh, actually, man, I don't know if it's a label in their record. I don't know if it's a label, but I mean, they, they pop record shop. What else? It's genre. It's genre of music is medieval, which is not a fucking genre. That's that's. Let's make it up another one. Though. Medieval, medieval what? Man, oh, you know. Let's go. This is power man. It is exactly that. Um, I get you know where the whole medieval thing comes from more than anything else, but. It's power metal, wind mix tinged with folk and, you know, more traditional elements and stuff like that. But what's quite cool is that ignoring the extra minutes that are just video and all that, it wasn't actually too much of that. It still felt like a, it's a long song in itself, oh, yeah. but it didn't, it actually flew by. Credit to the band, it actually flew by because it's peaks and valleys, ups and downs, ebbs and flows, where you have got this... Hot peppy little shoulder shaking, head banging to a degree, faster paced, energetic guitars, riffs are flying and stuff like that. Then here's some like more melodic, folk, even with a little bit of a bounce. It's not actually weirdly. You would think there'd be more somber moments in that, like more designed to be like, here's a really melancholic aspect and stuff like that. But there's not too much of that. It's not really the case. And it's all quite uplifting, which I guess kind of ties into the narrative of the trying to sort of tell here about last stands and battles and wars and things like that, which with cursory, um, cursory looking seems to be a theme. Now, this album isn't actually out yet. It's coming out, but I came across with a cursory Google, a box set, a collaboration, with a German role-playing game, Das Schwarz Og, and the well-known German, German fantasy authors, Bernard Hennen and Torsten Weitz, in a real, and some, something called an unprecedented concept that right. culminates an album. And looking at the picture, it looks like it's going to be a role-playing game as well as a book series and stuff like that. Are we so going kinda, forward? Yeah, we can kinda, I kind of get it based off this. Clearly, they're trying to tell a narrative more than anything mm. else. Thing is, that's not unique. Let's be honest. We know that's, I mean, the, the box set thing could be, but what I mean is in the sense that a, a narrative based around medieval elements from perhaps German history or fantasy based, well, clearly fantasy based because there's fucking orcs in it. And yeah. I'm pretty sure even those don't exist in German history. history. Um, but that, that, that may not be unique, but it doesn't mean it's not fun and interesting to pay attention to, particularly the goal should the single surely is to make someone like me who's never heard anything by this band to go oh i want to check this for while i'm out hell fucking yeah i want to hear how this goes on because i'm going to presume we've kind of got a narrow song wise and we'll get a lot of flow as well to the point mm. where you almost have to listen to it a full thing but as a standalone track that is excellent that is very good very very good power metal give me all the vibes i want all the elements I enjoy. I want to punch my fists in the air. I want to sing along. Although being in German means I'm going to struggle with that, which is a little annoying because there's the, the particular part where the actual characters on screen were singing and mm, doing that sort yeah. of chart. That's a sing along moment. But man, yeah. it's a German. So unless you, you know, you're going to, you know, unless you can really, really give that, oh, that's a, that's a, a pity. I'm not saying they should be singing in German because absolutely they fucking should because, you know, the language is awesome. And in that style, with the clarity we get as well, you're really hearing it, in really hearing it. I'm really enjoying it because it creates another level of fantastical to me because I am not in any way were able to speak or understand the German language. Every so often a word is spoken that has an English, like, connection enough yeah. so that i'm like i don't you said there don't need the subtitles <laughs> but it's like one word every fucking hundred um i was puzzled where blind garden fit into it now i without looking more further into it i'll imagine there's some, there's some guitar work and all that but i did catch definitely cat caught in the chorus one of the voices is definitely i think hansi kirch because you just get the little uh, swing of him i i think like um when you get an opportunity to listen to this song maybe in a more like not a YouTube version or anything like that. Hansi is the main vocalist throughout. Like there are oh. vocals at the beginning which aren't him, but when you listen to it, the second verse, the choruses, he's in the background constantly. Like you, 
you get him very very clear because actually for me it's one of the things i enjoyed most about the song is how much they use hansi in it he's oh, not okay. just in there for a line so see that makes sense then actually because um not knowing this band i have no idea really what and that, that's yeah. you know that's what needs to happen there need to hear a song by this band without any guests in it to understand what the uh how who the vocal is what they sound like what their style is and how that plays in more than anything else but as an introduction to this band that's that can be more perfect yeah, it's uh, you know even ignoring the video, it's a long song, but when it's good, who gives a shit how long it is? When you're invested in it, when you're enjoying it so much, I don't really the length is immaterial. The sign of a good track, the sign of a good anything, uh, be it a movie, be it a wrestling match, be it uh, a fucking song, be it whatever is a TV show, whatever it is, this best sign it can ever be is when it flies by and you're like, oh shit. That's how long it's been. And it's already gone by. Like to me, that that's that's that that flew by. It really, really did. I will just add, you know, when it comes to the video, yeah, it's super cinematic, yeah, it's super cool and all of that. But when it comes down to it, it's fantasy nonsense. I ain't got much love for that, uh, compared, you know, like the way others do. I've seen all that shit before, found it quite dull for the most part. I laughed early on because uh one of the band members has um ear, what are they called? Plugs. In mm. his ears, and I'm like, well, that doesn't look very medieval, does it? Little <laughs> black plugs in his ears. Um, and I'm like, well, that doesn't look very medieval and all that kind of thing. But um, yeah, you know, but it's still super, super cool. Like you put a lot of effort in, a yeah. lot of time to tell this narrative. You've got these awesome locations, these great outfits, everybody looks cool. Like, yeah. I'm not gonna knock that. It's awesome, yeah, yeah it's awesome. Yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously, I, I like it. It's the first time I've watched the video, but um, I've listened to the song quite a lot since stumbling across it by accident. And, you know, everything you said is, is is what I feel about it. I think it's uh, not necessarily because I don't think there is anything left to do in power metal. But it's not, oh, my God, they've changed power metal, you know, and it is power mm -hmm. metal as well. I mean, everything yeah. that you said is why it's power metal. It can't be medieval metal because medieval would be a period of history on which there were no fucking orcs. Orcs are fantastical. Power metal is about fantasy, you, you know, mm -hmm. so it's power metal. But but um, it's just a a, a really 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 great version of everything you want from power metal it's a story it's end to end it's got changes it's got strong singing nice harmonies in that bit as well that same bit where they were singing together or they all mm. stand up and one by one join in and it's like yeah that's nice that's nice yeah you used the right word there. i actually wish i'd used it but you named us there harmony man harmonization yeah. is on point you know it's got the folk touches here and there like especially at the beginning of it i like the big kind of choir stuff you know very dramatic isn't it it's very like wow you know this is epic um yeah you know cool i mean the song to me is awesome and the video is uh a nice addition to it but the reality of it is, is i've seen the video and that's great and i'm interested to see more i want to know what happens in the battle now that's coming <laughs> but realistically i'm going to be playing this song for the most part as a song and more than happy you know doing that as well so yeah, yeah. I uh, take it you you your 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 game for this album if it comes out. Yeah, way. absolutely. Yeah, I mean it's you know it's one of those things and it's a great thing, right? You know, and, and actually I think sometimes maybe through respect, admiration, inspiration, but but also sometimes because maybe it draws people in. I mean, it seems based on the YouTube channel alone of Saltatio Mortis, they're not short on fans. Mm. Uh, you know, they've they've got a significant number of views on this video. Uh, you know, yeah. over half a million. Over half a million. Over two hundred thousand subscribers. You know, so it's interesting how a band has reached that scale. But this is sometimes what happens to us on, in England, where power metal, especially, doesn't always hit us in the same way that it does uh, the European side of things. Oh yeah. Which is a shame sometimes. But it's really the fact that Blind Guardian feature on it, which initially in captured my interest. And now I'm interested enough in the band themselves that I want to see, okay, and I'm happy, more than happy to check out more from you. Uh, I agree with you. Like, I, I don't know it for a fact, but if this isn't a concept album, then I'd be, I, I, I bet my house on it being it. And if this is the style, which is bound to be now, then like, yay, because in my head, this is, there's going to be a, I, fuck no, this is 11 minutes long. Like, how big is the epic close are going to be, you know? <laughs> um, we're probably going to have songs that lean a bit more on the folk, songs that go a bit, you know, maybe a little bit heavier battle, battle the battle tracks. You know what I mean? Like yeah. then we're gonna have the sad, morbid tracks of all the dead after the battles, and uh, yeah, that excites me, man. That still excites yeah. me. So, yeah.
I don't I don't think a, a band can do it any better way than for us to check out a song. Right, you might have heard it um, a few times beforehand as well, but to sit here and watch a video with me and do this reaction, there's both come away going, that's banger. Um, yeah. Really want to hear the full album. I mean, that's the goal. You've literally turned us into immediate fans and wanting to see and hear more. Really, really impressive stuff. Um, Finster Watched featuring Blind Guardian by Saltatio Mortis. What do you think? You got any thoughts not to do? Let us know in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to see more content like this, please consider hitting the subscribe button. It is gratefully appreciated. You can find us over at gbhbl.com, our full website, where reviews, news, and so much more goes up daily. We're also on all social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, threads, at gbhbl. Just search for gbhbl and you will find us out there. We also have merchandise on sale. You can access the shop via the website.